Hey everyone, Machine 2.0 is out and I really like what I'm seeing so far. I'll be the first to admit that I have a lot more to learn, but I just wanted to make this quick overview to show you some of the things that you can expect. Um, so I'll just jump right into it. First thing I like is the new browse function. Um, just like before, you enter browse mode and you have different um, options you can select. So the arrows change the, the, um, the large categories and then the knob changes some of the finer, um, finer ones. So you have your file type, so you can choose between project, group, sound, anything like that. Um, then you have different products, so this is where you see your expansions. Um, then you have different banks, the 1.8 library, the 2.0 library. Um, and then you have your kits, and then different types of kits here. So um, the 2.0 software comes with quite a lot of new kits, and I want to show you some of those. Um, I'm really liking some of these urban ones. So once you have it narrowed down, you can just choose the, the list, and then you have all your different kits. So I'll just play a few of these real quickly. So one of the really cool things I like about this is the um, the loading is way, way faster. So you can just pretty much instantaneously load anything up. All right, so um, I need to make a video about the new kits or anything like that, because that's going to take a lot longer than this. But um, anyways, you get the idea. There's a lot of good new content. So once you have something you like, i um, just going to exit out of browse mode, and then I will start recording. Um, and I really like the new record mode. It's kind of hidden. Hit the shift and the grid button. Um, then you have some different options up here. Um, like before, you can change the metronome level, but new in 2.0 is the ability to change the time signature. So that's pretty handy. You can go 1 4th, 1 16th, anything like that. Um, and you can also change how long the count in length is. So that's, that's pretty handy. Um, and you can also turn on quantize mode, um, which there wasn't on hardware. There wasn't a hardware option for this in 1.8, um, but this basically quantizes on input, so um, you can have it automatically quantize when you play. Um, but I'll leave that off for now. Um, so I have my settings all as I want them to be, and I'm just going to go to um, tempo, um, lower a little bit. And I thought this was a bug because you can't exit the main menu. Um, by hitting it again, like you could in 1.8. So I hold down all the other buttons and figured out that if you hit the control one, it goes away. So I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but it's kind of annoying or just something else to get used to. Anyways, um, I think I'm ready to record, so I'm just going to um, set a two bar pattern and record something. Alright, um, so that sounds pretty good. Um, the way patterns are handled has changed a little bit. So if you notice, if I create a few more patterns and then um, clear them, when I select the other one, it doesn't go away. Um, and the way to get rid of them is just to hold the pattern button and then delete. Um, so that's just um, another way that things have changed. And also, um, if you hit the shift button and the pattern button, you can see there's pattern banks. So um, things have really gotten um, larger in 2.0. You have unlimited groups, you have more patterns, more scenes. I think unlimited scenes, actually. So um, things are, are really looking good. Um, anyways, I have something set up here. I'm going to load up something in a new group. And groups have also changed, surprise. Um, you can see that you have your groups here, then you have this white one, and this is basically like the add a new group button. Um, I have my mic on the yellow group here, so don't worry about that. I'm just going to add a new group, um, and then on this I will add an instrument or something. So I'll go back into browse mode, 
um, and then just choose let's see I want in something like this that sounds cool All right, um, so I'll just layer something on top of this real quickly. So I'm going to quantize that. Um, grid has changed, so let's take a look at that. If you take a look at the grid, um, you have um, your values for the grid like you did before, but now um, the on and off is a separate function. So it's pretty nice. You don't have to scroll through to turn it on or turn it off. So I'm going to leave it on on 1 16th and then um, quantize. Okay, so I um, have that going and I want to show you sampling real quickly. So I'm going to add a new group. And on this pad, I'll enter sampling mode. Um, and this has totally changed. So if you hit the nav button, you can see you have these four different categories like you did before. Um, so I'm going to choose an internal input. Um, my C1 group, because that is the, the instrument I just recorded. Um, and I really like this new sync mode. So basically, this um, syncs up the recording to um, to the the sequencer which is really nice I think it's new if it isn't new then I never used it before so it's new to me um, but anyways so I'm just going to record something um, basically I'm going to put that sequence thing on a pad so here we go okay um, now we can go into editing mode um, and this is really cool so now you have these things called play range and um, selection range. So play range is basically the start and end point of the sample. So if you move the start up, um, that's going to change the start point, obviously. But now you have this thing called the selection range. And this, um, regardless of how you move this, um, the start point is going to these start and end points are going to stay exactly how they were. So this basically allows you to just um, to edit parts of the sample in detail. So if I just want to um, to like reverse one part of it, I can just move in with the selection range, and then um, find reverse up here, and then um, here's how it sounds now. So it's a cool way to edit just parts of the sample. Um, you can really get creative with this. Um, so if you head back to start range or play range, um, I think this is a bug, I think, because uh, you can see if I go back to play range, it's exactly the same as my selection range, but as soon as I move the knob one click, um, it goes back to the whole thing like it was before. But anyways, um, that'll let you play the whole sample. So um, I, really I really like what they did with the new sampler, I just think there's a few things. Um, the only other thing I've noticed that isn't working quite as I want it to, um, if I go onto here and choose this. So if you're trying to work with some of the settings, um, oh, okay, it's working now. Weird. Um, it wasn't working for me before, but I'm glad to see that's working. So disregard what I just said. Um, so I think that's about it for some of these new features. Oh, note repeat has changed, which is cool. So you have these more options. These more options. You have more options. Um, you have gate, um, different rates, and instead of having like triplet and dotted listed as there, it's a um, an option now. So that's just a way to, to make things a little bit easier to sort through. And um, I really like how, how they've integrated that. 
Um, besides that, um, I think I think that about covers it. Um, I'll show you a different group banks, so you can see you have unlimited groups. You can just keep going and going. Um, so that's pretty sweet, uh, and um, things are looking good. Things are looking really good for 2.0. Um, I'm really excited to keep looking through it, and um, hopefully get some tutorials on the way. So um, stay tuned for those. Um, if you have any questions about the new software, leave them in the comments, and I'll let you know. And um, as always, thanks for watching. So stay tuned, and um, take it easy.